Jiyanu Asi Satarva podcast recording like Aya Mera naam Ethan hai Tusi ke mayo Han ji satrika main Jaspreet ha bahut vadhiya Ethan ki hal chal hai Main theek ha main takya aate hafte bahut kaam karde karda si te main Han ji main bahut busy si par hun asi a uh, philosophy discussion karanga asi philosophy da baba farid mm-hmm. discussion kar karda karanga karange fir uh, mm-hmm. ah haan ji karange yes. te ki tusi chaida daso um okay uh, the last line you said ki tusi chaida that that didn't quite make sense tusi ki kende kehna chande ho ki kehna ki tusi ki kehna chande ho what do you want to say tusi ki tusi ki kehna kehna chande ho chanda is like want haan ji hmm. i didn't understand Chanda. what you said uh, tusi uh, what did you say ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਯਾ ਸੋ ਇਤਨ ਫਿਲਾਸਫੀ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਇਸ ਫਲਸਫਾ ਫਲਸਫਾ ਹਾਂ ਵਾਸ ਦੈਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਵਰਡ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਬਲੀ ਇਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਦ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਬਾਰੋਡ ਬਾਜ਼ਾਰ ਐਂਡ ਜੰਗਲ ਵੀ ਗਾਟ ਫਲਸਫਾ ਯਾ ਸੋ ਆਸਮ ਸੋ Mm-hmm. this i think we'll talk uh, d- do the discussion in punjabi because i don't think i'm comfortable enough to mm-hmm. well let me, i'm not think i'm not comfortable enough to discuss <laughs> philosophy uh-huh. in punjabi i mean maybe there'll be a few things i think i can express uh-huh. in punjabi but not not too too much um koi gal nahi so anyway mm-hmm. hanji the Yeah, so what do you want to discuss first? So What's Ethan um Baba Freed. Mhm. So Baba, Baba Freed, haan ji. So tusi mainu dasso ki Baba Freed kaun si? Thonu pata? Haan ji, me pata ki Baba Freed mm-hmm. um pehla mhm poet mhm da Punjab the um Punjab 1400s mm-hmm. ਰੰਦੇਸੀ 12ਵੀਂ 12ਵੀਂ ਸਦੀ ਕੀ 12ਵੀਂ ਸਦੀ ਸਮਝ ਆਈ 12ਵੀਂ ਸਤੀ ਕੀ ਸਦੀ 12 ਰੀ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ 12 ਨਹੀਂ 12 ਓ 12 ਹਾਂ 12ਵੀਂ ਹਾਂ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ 10 11 12 12 ਸੋ 12ਵੀਂ ਇਸ 12th ਐਂਡ ਸਦੀ ਇਸ ਸੈਂਚਰੀ ਸੋ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਯਾ ਸੋ ਬਾਬਾ ਫਰੀਦ 12ਵੀਂ ਸਦੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੈਦਾ ਹੋਏ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਉਹ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦੇ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਕਵੀ ਹੈ ਸਮਝ ਆਈ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਕਵੀ ਕਵੀ ਹਮ ਕਵੀ ਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਪੋਇਟ ਸੋ ਉਹ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਸੋ ਹੀਜ਼ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਰਿਕਾਰਡਡ ਪੋਇਟ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਆਬਵੀਅਸਲੀ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਨਾਟ ਸੇ ਫੋਰ ਸ਼ੋਰ ਬਟ ਫੋਰ history's sake uh, baba farid is considered the first recorded punjabi poet and he is from the 12th century 12th sadi to hai theek hai te uh, baba farid um sab nu bahut pyare hai hai itan so uh, eh bahut zaruri hai kyunki um, chahe koi uh, muslim hai sikh hai hindu hai isai hai ਬਾਬਾ ਫਰੀਦ ਸਭ ਨੂੰ ਸਭ ਦੇ ਮਨਪਸੰਦ ਕਵੀ ਹੈ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਸੰਤ ਹੈ ਸਮਝ ਆਈ ਬੇਟਾ ਸੰਤ ਹਮ ਸੰਤ ਮੈਂ ਮੈਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਮਝਾ ਸੋ ਲਾਈਕ ਸੇਂਟ ਓ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਹਾਂ ਸੋ ਹੁਣ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ نو ਇਫ ਸੇਂਟ ਕੇਮ ਫਰਮ ਸੰਤ ਔਰ ਸੰਤ ਕੇਮ ਫਰਮ ਸੇਂਟ ਬਟ ਆਲ ਆਈ نو ਇਜ਼ ਕਿ ਬਾਬਾ ਫਰੀਦ ਇਜ਼ ਇਜ਼ ਏ ਮਚ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਬਿਲਵਡ ਸੇਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਪੋਇਟ ਐਂਡ and kyun kyunki baba farid uh, ik rabb di gal karde hain humanity di gal karde hain and he's just um, he talks about the love of god the oneness of humanity 
um, so that is why everybody sort of reveres him. They, thonu pata hai ki Baba Farid da kar ona di, you can say like his resting place. Oh, kithe hai? Thonu pata? Um, somewhere Punjab vich hai. Han ji. So Punjab vich kithe? Um, Ludhiana? No, actually, this is the old Punjab, which is called Undivided India before 1947. So, present day Pakistan. Yes. So, the name of Pak Patan, which is Baba Farid, which is a resting place, and it's a pilgrimage spot in today's world. Yes. Okay? And there is an interesting thing, that Baba Farid's name पंजाब इंडिया विच एक मेडिकल कॉलेज है, आई थिंक यूनिवर्सिटी भी है बाबा फरीद मेडिकल कॉलेज और उधे एक शहर भी है उधर नाम पता है कि है फरीद कोट फरीद कोट फरीद कोट हाँ जी और एक और बहुत जरूरी गल कि बाबा फरीद दी पोइट्री Guru Granth Sahib which hai? Hanji, but Sare poetry Guru Granth Sahib nahi hai? Haan, sari nahi hai, kuch haan, kuch select poetry hai, kuch khas. Hanji. Hanji. Chalo, phir shuru kariye? Hanji. Thik hai. So, alright, so I picked three couplets and I thought they were simple. Uh, but they also give uh, a sort of an insight into the Punjabi uh, philosophy and culture. Theek hai? All right. Theek hai. So, Sabto Pella. Uh, and all of them start with like Farida. Like Baba Farid is, you know, um, sort of talking to himself. So, he says, Farida bure da pala kar. Farida bure da pala kar. Gussa man na handai. Gussa man na handai. So, Ethan, better tell us about it. Farid da, Bura da... Bure da... Kar? Da pala. Da pala kar. Da pala kar. Kar... Kar da matlab house? No, it's a kar with the... Like, my kar da si, like that. Oh, okay, hanji. Bure... I just no, covered no, my no. head because Anji. I wanted to do it because, you know, out of respect, uh, because Baba Farid's uh, words are in the Guru Granth Sahib. And, and do you want to tell our audience why we cover our head when we read scriptures or um, spiritual poetry? Yeah, so um, anything in the Guru Granth Sahib mm -hmm. or spiritual, we cover our head uh, to show respect. Mm -hmm. And it originates from when the 10th guru was persecuted he called all Sikhs to cover their head which is why you see a lot of Sikhs wear turbans mm -hmm. because uh, the point was so that whenever you're out because Sikhs are being persecuted you could identify mm -hmm. someone else who is a Sikh who could uh, help you someone who who was there mm -hmm. and uh, believed in the same things as you yeah, and also I so think... So that, that tradition has survived to this day. Yeah, and the women would cover their head and also, uh, not just persecution, also to help anybody in distress. Yeah. You know, you yeah. could be seen as a symbol of protection. So, um, the other thing that I uh, see is, I think a lot of this is um, uh, cultural in many cultures. Um, like I remember I used to have a patient um, years ago in Pennsylvania. She was this old Russian lady. And I used to go to that apartment building in the city in downtown. And every time she would come uh, to the room where I would see patients, she would have this scarf on her head. I never, ever saw her without the scarf. Mm -hmm. um, and she used to remind me of my grandma. So you know how I have my mm -hmm. scarf right now? And my grandma yeah. always had her, uh, she used to have that long scarf we call uh, a dupatta. And I never, ever saw her without it. You know, it was very light. And um, almost like lightweight, like feather light. So, um, so I think it's cultural. People covered their head. They had like a headgear, 
you know, a century ago. Like even if you look at Europe, people would have hats and you never saw anybody without a hat, right? Yeah. So I think the world is generally becoming less formal. <laughs> anyway, I just digress there. So let's back to Baba Farid. Okay. So I'll repeat it again. Farida bure da palakar gussa man na handai. So, so the first line uh-huh. makes sense, but the la- the second line is guse mm-hmm. na mm, something mala. Gusa man na handai. Man na. Man na. Oh. So let's go over the meaning. So na. Uh, well, so the na is no, like mm-hmm. don't, right? Mm-hmm. So bude is like uh, mad. Right. Bad. So, Anything bad. Or bad? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's bad. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that makes sense because gusa must mean uh, like angry. Yes. Mad. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. bad things don't like when bad things happen, mm-hmm. don't get mad, basically, right? But you missed one piece. When bad things happen, bure da palakar. So what is pala? Pala. I assume good. Yeah, it's like a good deed. Okay, so bure da palakar. So uh, when when some bura is could be a bad deed or a bad person. So let's say it's a bad deed. So it's a bure da palakar. Somebody does something bad to you. You you still do something good for them. Why? Because and he answers it. Gussa man na handai. So gussa is anger. What about man? Man, mm-hmm. it's your mind. It's like man. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And Hyundai. Hyundai. Man. Hyundai is like your lived experience. Like, uh, oh. What were you gonna say? So it's not really an action. It's just like. Uh, it is an action, but it's your experience, your lived experience with something, you know? So, oh, okay. yeah. So, gussa man na handai, like anger is an emotion that doesn't really live well with us. You know, when we're angry, have you noticed when you're angry, your um, your heart rate goes up, sometimes you, you start breathing shallow, your, your muscles are all tight. It doesn't flow well with us, even physically. And definitely not mentally. Right? When we're upset, we, we don't want to talk to anybody. And it's just a bad emotion to have. Uh, would you agree? Yeah, I mean, I think it's obviously unsustainable. You know, there you, you go. Adrenaline. Thank you. And that's I, I think, exactly. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's his point. Like, so that's even ex- when you release adrenaline, it, it ruins your sleep. Mm-hmm. Like, it's kind of funny because he was talking about it. Mm-hmm. Um, well... He's kind of given this advice, which we've proven is true with like millions of dollars <laughs> a thousand years later. So, so yeah, literally a thousand years later, right? It's 2024 and, you know, we're talking... Yeah, about 800 years. Yeah, it's 1100 something, you know, uh, Baba Farid was born. So he's giving us this, um, these advice. I love these little nuggets of wisdom that are being passed on. And um, so, you know, when we were little or somebody's having an argument and they're like, you know, I'm so mad at them and I'm going to do this. And and that's when, like, if you're in a South Asian culture, somebody will come and say, oh, take it easy, young man or young person. You know, Farida bureda pala kar kusa manna handai. You know, it's kind of this well, kind of... Well, they literally quote it like that? Yeah, say, literally like that. Yes. Wow. <laughs> What so that's like it, it? his. So his poetry is embedded into the proverbs, like the cultural proverbs. Absolutely, and that is why I thought this was great to discuss it because it takes me back to the first um, podcast or um, no, the mother language day when you said language embodies culture. So right, you know, yeah. you may think that you're not fluent in Punjabi at this point, but look, even with whatever Punjabi you've learned, it has allowed you to. Um, get connected with Baba Farid's words, literally the words that came out of his mouth and not a translation. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I think that's very profound. So anyway, so moving on. So the second couplet is Farida. Oh, and I love this one. Farida khak na nindi hai, khak ko jed na koi. Farida khak na nindi hai, khak ko jed na koi. Jiyondhya paira thalle, moya uppar hoi. Jiyondhya paira thalle, moya uppar hoi. So, I know it's, so I said the, the whole second thing. part makes a lot more sense mm-hmm. than the first part. I know if Gok is uh, dust, mm-hmm. and the first part's talking about how dust is always beneath your feet, and then mm-hmm. it says like something about it being over you. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's I break guess it up. when you die, because it's Muria, right? Muria. Moya. Upper. Moya. Huh. huh. Oh. Moya, I, I think, is death, right? Yes. Huh? Mar, Maria, nowadays yeah. we call it Maria. Back then they used to call it Moya. This is sort of medieval Punjabi, right? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Maria makes more sense. I don't know why. It just sounds like it makes <laughs> sense to be death. I think because I'm thinking of Spanish. In Spanish, it's like morir. Oh, you're like, right. Yes. See, it's the Indo-Aryan so, language. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. So that, like, I think that helped me a little bit. Mm-hmm. And the first part, can you repeat the first part? Yeah. Farida khak na nindi hai. So this is the advice. Don't say bad to khak or dust. Khak ko jade mm. na koi. So the key word here is khak ko jade. Jade is bigger. Okay. So Farida, don't say, don't think that the khak or dust is nothing. You know, there is nothing bigger, bigger than, than dust. Yes, there is nothing mm. bigger than dust. Khak ko jade na koi. And koi is like koi. Okay. Yeah, it's just a poetic style right. of saying, yeah. And then, Jiyondhya paira thalle. You understood that, right? Samajai, bata? Can you repeat it? Sorry. Jiyondhya paira thalle. Jiyondhya. Mm-hmm. Jiyondhya is mm-hmm. like where... Living. Or... Jivan is life. Living, oh. Jiyondhya is while you're living. It's like a... A uh, combo word. Okay. Like it literally means while you're living, but all of that is into one word, Jiyondhya. I see. Yeah. So Jiyondhya, Pera Thalle, Moya Uppar Hoi. Moya Uppar Hoi. Yeah, mm-hmm. that makes sense. So, so. Um, so, what do you think of? Can you think of a scenario where we would use this couplet of Baba Farid? I think someone who would be really arrogant, someone mm-hmm. who thinks of themselves a lot, mm-hmm. because I think that's his point in the first um, part where he says, mm-hmm. nothing is bigger than dust. Mm-hmm. And we think of dust as something that's totally, you know, worthless mm-hmm. or even annoying, right? We always clean dust off surfaces. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, get off your hill. <laughs> Nothing's bigger than dust, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> I think it's a, it's a humbling Mm-hmm. Um, phrase and then the pr- second part is that mm-hmm. it reminds you of your own mortality it says mm-hmm. not only mm-hmm. are you you know nothing is bigger than dust mm-hmm. you can't be bigger than dust mm-hmm. but dust will be over you when you die <laughs> so not only will you die uh-huh. and obviously when you die um, all your earthly possessions are you won't have them anymore uh-huh. not only that but dust will outlive you so it's terrible but I think it's his true. whole point is Mm-hmm. Right, but I think this whole thing is just to to humble people and just to remind you to mm-hmm. to stay mm-hmm. grounded, basically. Like back then, I think it's the equivalent of saying telling someone to touch grass, mm-hmm. except you know back then they had a little more time. So, <laughs> <laughs> or well, I don't know about a little more time, but they uh-huh. um, their attention span was a little greater, mm-hmm. so they spend time writing out these very mm-hmm. beautiful phrases. See, so that's why um, I love anyway. Punjabi and reading these phrases. Um, they just, it just, it's almost like you connect. Um, the word I want to say in Punjabi is Purkhyanu Varsa Nal Jordiye. So Purkhe is your ancestors. Varse, var, like you are the Varas, no? who's receiving this from your ancestors. So these kind of poetry couplets, they connect, they, it's, it's a bonding with your ancestors, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. I really like the way you explained it, Ethan. So, um, and the Thank last you. one, yeah, the last one is, um, so this is a bonus one, but it, 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 take, it literally picks up from what you said that, you know, all your possessions and everything is gone, then what? So, 
कोठे मंडप माड़िया एत न लाए चित मिट्टी पई अतोलवी कोए न होसे मित सो दिस इज अ बिट कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड कोठे मंडप माड़िया दीज आर ऑल ब्यूटीफुल मैंशंस विद बालकनीज एंड यू नो ऑल काइंड ऑफ आर्किटेक्चरल लग्जरीज एत न लाए चित चित इज अगेन योर 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 हार्ट माइंड एत इज काइंड ऑफ लाइक एन ओल्ड वर्ड फॉर इस लाइक वी से दिस एत न लाए चित लाइक डोंट गेट अटैच टू दैम टू मच यू नो योर ब्यूटिफुल पोजेशंस मिट्टी पई अतोलवी सो मिट्टी इज अनदर वर्ड फॉर खाक इनफैक्ट मिट्टी इज अ मॉडर्न वर्ड मिट्टी इज लिटरली लाइक डर्ट and oh, okay. um, yeah so mitti pai atolvi like if all of these beautiful mansions and everything were to just suddenly be destroyed into dirt koi na hose mit hose is like uh, again a medieval word for to be like hai mit is again a medieval word for a friend uh, we can say mitter you know like we say dost mitter yeah. mitter is a true punjabi word and this is a short form of mitter mit so when all these possessions go away who's going to be your friend or will you even have a friend so baba free this kind of what do you think of this one yeah i mean it sounds like a lot of his philosophy is about staying grounded mm-hmm. and remembering that whatever you surround yourself with and whatever you think isn't reality mm-hmm. you know and Yeah. Because I think a lot of people they kind of, whenever they get possessions they sort of absorb that into their into who they are into their identity. Mhm. And his point is that, you know, those things if they're gone, people mm-hmm. won't be your friend anymore, right? If that's your identity, mhm. then no one will want to be your friend because they are your friend because you have those things. Mhm. And Yeah. So that, that's those are my thoughts. He's, I think he's they're very much excellent. about mm-hmm. staying in touch with what it really is to be or like not really what it really is to be a human, but I think it's about just realizing what matters, you know, prioritizing. Yes. Mhm. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Excellent. Well, on that note, um I I I can't tell you how pleased I am that um assi dono baba farid uh, te ona di um uh, likhiya hoya uh, inniya sonia uh, lineup pad rahe ha mainu bahut khushi hai jeetan main bahut khushi hu main bhi khush ha okay ji remember these lines they will serve you well in life yeah anji the Anji Fir Thank you everyone for joining us. I apologize for my noisy surroundings and also the delayed release of this episode. The weather has been very poor recently. It has driven me inside. So I'm currently in a study room in my dining hall on a Friday afternoon. That's why it's a little bit noisy. Anji Pud Pitch or no. Agle hafte. Mhm. Asi return. Fair me lage. Mhm. Fair mil de a. Mhm. Sasrikal. Rabraka. Fair mil de. Rabraka. Mhm.